This is an overview to show you how to construct a learning pathway. As you know, Scootle is a teacher-to-teacher -teacher portal, and in order to give uh, access to these resources to students, you need to create learning pathways. And I'm going to demonstrate now how to do that. So if you go to the right here, you through the learning areas, we might drill down to find some resources in business and enterprise. I might go to this one called business cycle and uh, always to get a better view of the objects available is to go to viewers gallery and I'll just scroll down to see what resources I might give to the students there's quite a few photos there there's one interactive resource and I might take this photo take this program of work and maybe one video now take this video here called the Jewel of the Pacific. So there's four different objects that I've encapsulated. I'm going to click there. I can set up a new folder uh, if I haven't got an appropriate one, but I'm happy to put it into the business folder. If not, I can create new folder. I'll give it a name for this learning pathway. I'll call it Trade Cycle. And I can put some instructions in there so that when the students receive the learning objects, they know what to do with it. I can create a learning pathway um, or I can create a collaborative learning pathway. But uh, at, for this session, we'll create just a learning pathway. I'll press add to learning path. And now that's been done, it just gives you a quick look at the objects that have been captured and then I'll go to the folder where I put it called business and there it is there called trade cycle now I can edit that make changes particularly to the instructions uh, rename it I can delete it I can email the link uh, to other people I can export the objects and the content as an Excel document or I can simply create a PDF so I'll click on PDF it'll generate a PDF and as you can see it's encapsulated those objects that I want to give to the students and all they need to do is click on the link and enter that pin number uh, obviously too I can actually save it save the file to the desktop that save that pdf and i guess you can allocate that into your lms or into your local drive for students to get access to simply email, email the students the pdf they open that they click on the link and enter the pin number and they have got access and they can then start working through read the instructions first and then start working uh, on their program you can download the document there so that's a quick overview on how to create a learning pathway i hope you make use of it